Immediately below that chromatogram, there is a spectral extraction that I can do. So if I go to, again, I'm going to just skip over a little bit my that mass spec tab that's on the right-hand side and simply go to the UV tab here. This allows me to be able to do a background subtraction, a spectral background subtraction on all of my injections if I wish. And there are several ways in which I can do that. If I select that pull down menu or where it says background mode and it's currently set to none, if I select that downward facing arrow, I've got a couple of different options of how I can do that spectral subtraction. And the spectral subtraction works exactly in the same way as the, um, as you would think the chromatographic blank subtraction occurs. It simply takes spectral information from whatever you have defined here, and there are four different options here. You can do the spectrum at the start of the baseline, at the uh, baseline end, at the start and end, or at some other type of external background time range that you can then define. It's going to take that background, it's going to then take that spectra, and it will subtract that spectra from any of your um, analysis spectra that you're doing in any of your injections. So if I decide spectrum at the end of the peak, most of my customers typically will do the spectrum at the peak start and end. That seems to be the most consistent out in the industry, at least in the pharma industry. I know in some of the environmental and chemical um, places, they do it at a specific time range, et cetera. But these are all options that are available within Open Lab CDS. And again, if you don't understand exactly how these work, simply selecting that F1 button allows you to be able to get help and learning on exactly what these spectral subtractions will do.